Good morning and welcome to Charlotte Christian School broadcasting live from Alkire Auditorium in the Center for Worship and Performing Arts. My name is Leslie Niesner. I'm the Director of Fine Arts here at Charlotte Christian School and it is just so exciting to be up here with a new generation of beginning band and orchestra students. For the past three months, they have been working tirelessly, as I know, parents, you've heard at home and we've heard in the halls here, learning to put their instruments together, learning to hold them, learning to make their very first sounds, learning to read notes and rhythms, and learning to play with one another to make a joyful noise. It's taken courage, determination, stick to itness, and the willingness to try something new and fail very publicly. When we play a wrong note, everybody hears it. Um, but we just get back up and we try again, and it's helped us get to this point where we're ready to share our firsts with you. And again, it's such an exciting time. We are honored parents and loved ones to have you here with us via live stream. We're also so honored to have our special upper school guests with us here today. Upper schoolers, know it or not, your dedication to the music program, your leadership just by being who you are and sticking with it and doing your very best at your craft has laid the pathway for these beginners to be up here today. It's enabled us to grow our program and to have support of so many people. So I thank you for your dedication. And so part of what's going on up here is in thanks to you. Many of you can probably remember being at this age. Um, some of you even younger started as fourth graders. And we're just thankful that you're here today to support them and the things that you did behind the scenes to support them this morning as well. I'd like to invite trumpet player Sam Lister to the stage to open us in prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the time we get to perform and spend time honoring you. I know everyone spent a lot of time putting in effort, and so I hope everyone is confident and enjoys this chance to show what they have learned. Please help everyone to do their best and glorify you in everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. And now we will begin our presentation with Max Howard in the brass section. My name is Max Howard and I play the trumpet in the beginning brass class. The trumpet, French horn, trombone, euphonium, and tuba are mem all members of the brass family. Our brass class consists of trumpet, trombone, and euphonium players. Brass instruments are made up by tubes of different lengths. To produce a sound on our mouthpiece, we form our lips into an M shape and blow air through the mouthpiece while vibrating our lips. This is called a buzz and it sounds like this. We can make the sound of our buzz higher or lower by tightening or loosening our lips and changing our airspeed. This is called a siren and it sounds like this. My name is Cooper Adams, and I play the euphonium in the beginning brass class. Once we connect our, mouth beam, our mouthpiece to our instrument, the siren you just heard is shaped and amplified by the tubing of the instrument. What was once a siren is now called a lip slur. A lip slur sounds like this. sirens and lip slurs, we are now ready to create a characteristic brass tone. The, the trumpet and low brass section are now going to demonstrate brass instruments in action.
The trumpet and brass section are now going to demonstrate um, Merrily We Roll Along. My name is Ethan Walker and I play violin in the beginning orchestra class. The violin, viola, cello, and bass are all members of the string family. The string instruments have four strings and are played by plucking the strings, called pizzicato, or by using a bow called arco. This is called pizzicato. is called Arco. Different notes are made by pressing the left hand fingers down on the strings while the right hand plays with the bow or plucks the strings. The string instruments are tuned in perfect fifths. My name is Sarah Beth Newsom, and I play the violin as well. The violin is the smallest and high-pitched member of the string family. The violin strings are tuned to the notes E, A, D, and G. The open strings on the violin sound like this. The violin reads the notes on the treble clef. It is sometimes called a fiddle, which is the nickname for the violin. The term fiddle is used when referring to someone who plays in the folk music style. My name is Kim Ferranti, and I play the viola in the beginning orchestra class. The viola is a bit larger than the violin, and the strings on the viola are tuned to the notes A, D, and G, like the violin. However, because the violin is bigger than the violin, it has a lower sound. Instead of having an, a high E string like the violin, it has a low C string. The viola reads the notes on the alto clef. The open strings on the viola sound like this. are going to perform the first part of Mississippi Reel to demonstrate high strings in action. My name is Oliver Jackson, and I play beginning. I play flute in the beginning woodwind class. Woodwind instruments are cylindrical or conical tubes made of wood, plastic, or metal with an intricate system of keys and finger holes. We use different combinations of keys and fingerings to play different notes. The flute, oboe, bassoon, clarinet, bass clarinet, and saxophone are all members of the woodwind family. 
We produce a basic tone on the flute by blowing a small steady stream of air across the embouchure hole. It sounds like this. Once we are confident in our ability to play a clear and steady tone, we can begin to play many combinations of notes together. My name is Harrison Landon, and I play clarinet in the beginning woodwind class. My name is Josiah Tall, and I play alto saxophone. The clarinet and alto saxophone are instruments that require a reed to produce a tone. When the reed vibrates against the opening in the mouthpiece, it sounds like this. Just like brass instruments, once we connect our mouthpiece on our instruments, the tubing shapes and amplifies our basic tone and creates a characteristic woodwind sound. One, two, ready, play. The saxophone section are now going to demonstrate our beginning woodwind class in action. One, two, ready, play. Camden Whitlock and I play the cello in the beginning orchestra class. The cello is bigger than the violin and the viola and is played sitting down. The cello is positioned between the knees and has an end pin which holds it up from the floor. Because the cello is bigger than the violin and the viola, it has a very low sound. It reads the notes on the bass clef. 
The strings on the cello are tuned to the A, D, G, and C, just like the viola, except they sound an octave lower. The open strings on the cello sound like this. The cellos are now going to demonstrate low strings in action with the first several notes that they have learned. The full orchestra is now going to demonstrate all of the string instruments in action with rolling along. The word Genesis means the beginning, and the beginning is what you are seeing represented today with the youngest players in the band and orchestra program here at Charlotte Christian School. What a blessing it is to not only have the beginners on stage with us today, but to also have the upper school band and orchestra students in our audience. Each student in this room has, is on a musical journey. Some have just started their adventure, while others have been on this journey for years and are in the final stretch of their time here at Charlotte Christian. At this time, we would like to invite the seniors to join us on the stage. We saw it fitting that we include both the beginners and the seniors for you today in the final selections of the morning. We're going to start with a three-part Mississippi Reel featuring the beginning orchestra members and the seniors. Thank you. 
And now for the beginning band selection with our seniors, our selection is called March Primo. of you for joining us tonight via live stream this morning or for joining us live stream this morning to support the sixth grade band orchestra students we are proud of the work that they put forth both in the classroom and in their practice at home thank you for encouraging them to pursue music and we are excited to see where this journey takes them can we please have kaya gillette close us in prayer Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for the musicians who played and for all the people watching. Even though we may have been nervous, I pray that we made some great memories. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to play together and thank you for all the instruments representing today and for the beautiful melodies that they play. I pray that you will be with us and as we continue with our day that we would do everything in you and through you. In Jesus' name, amen. 